welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Elkian Wiersma and today we're going to uh, do another episode, uh, number 13 of Blooms, Buds and Such, which basically means uh, just uh, updates and things that are uh, going on here in the Orchid Room and also in the uh, Greenhouse, of course. And yes, I'm starting here in my Orchid Room. Well, first of all, you might uh, see the difference here. I have a bit of shelving here that wasn't here before. This is from out uh, of the greenhouse and we will have a look at that um, section uh, in the greenhouse where it's changed but I also um, changed it here so I have a little bit more space to put uh, some arcades on and uh, so that's the first uh, update uh, I guess <laughs> and the second one uh, we have uh, several updates in this uh, corner uh, this uh, second update is this beautiful Trinormous spike of the uh, uh, Rodon Jester over here. Beautiful blooms. And I'm making this update because I just wanted to film them. You can compare them. They are absolutely beautiful. Because these will not be in my bloom update of the month of February. Why? Well, because of this. A look at the bulb that is carrying the spike and compare it to the other ones next to it you can see that this one is is uh, tiny and it starts to shrivel already a little bit so i don't want to take too much energy out of the uh, that bulb anymore but i just wanted to uh, let it bloom so i could take some pictures and show it to you guys so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut off the blooms and I will let this portion of the spike. Uh, I'm not going to cut that one because there are uh, some there's some energy in that spike as well. So then I will give this bulb a chance to uh, get those nutrients back in the bulb. And it is doing better. Let me see if you can see there a root in the back. So yeah, it's starting to root again. So that's good. It's not that it's very unhealthy, but when I did uh, get it, it did had bush snails, and those did eat the uh, roots. Then I cleaned it up, and I found that it later had still bush snails. So I didn't do a good job with the hydrogen peroxide. So therefore, this one is uh, this bulb is very smaller than the rest, but it did bloom, and they are amazing. So just wanted to show them. And then above the shelf we have this Pragmapidium and that one is starting to bud. So at least one spike. It's a fairly big plant so I was expecting a few more spikes but anyhow we do have it uh, in bloom. Yeah I have it as a slipper orchid. I don't have the exact uh, name for this. It's no ID but still we have a uh, first bloom starting so that's uh, very very nice i didn't uh, have this to rebloom yet when i bought it so uh, so yeah that's very very nice i really look forward to uh, to those blooms and i put the one with the in trinormous spike over here it's beautiful it's sadly starting to go over already but yeah, still it's uh, it's beautiful. Let me uh, go this way so you can see. It's a, such a beautiful spike. It's very very heavy, but it's absolutely beautiful. Quinlanburg, on Costella Quinlanburg. Beautiful. I have the name tag there in the back. On Costella Qu Quinlanburg, <laughs> and then we have. Um, my preparata it's an oncidium preparata i think yes sunset you can see the tag and it has this beautiful little blooms and several spike and quite some roots there's another spike and i have a new spike here and that is a branch of an older spike so we'll have four spikes soon in bloom absolutely beautiful and then I had this strange one here with this very long spike thin long spike which started to bloom as well sadly no name for this one 
but nonetheless beautiful blooms. Just a few, it's such a strange, <laughs> strange spike. And I must admit the arc itself, yeah, it's doing better, but it's not very huge. It's this growth that is spiking. So you can see it's not, not that big, but we have two new growths there in the back as well. So hopefully it will uh, get a bit stronger. But yeah, strange spike. If I didn't uh, stake it like this, it would, uh, would now laying on the floor. So it's not a very strong spike, but it's incredibly long. So don't know exactly why, but maybe this is the habit. I did remember that when I bought it, it has long spikes, but not this long, I, uh, if I remember correct correctly. But anyhow, some uh, updates here in the orchid room. And I will do an update on this one as well. It's my Miltonia, Mil Miltoniopsis. And as you can see, these spikes did uh, get caught in between the leaves. And I now see that this leaf is yellowing up. Oh yeah, I did break it, that's why. Because I tried to get a spike out, but it's... I think I damaged it and then it started to uh, grow these buds, but it was too heavy, it did break there. And now we have this spike here that looks a little bit stronger, but it's so, <laughs> so hard. Yeah, this is what a Miltoniopsis can do, but it has another spike here, number three, and that one is going over here. And that one is doing well, so that finds the space to grow on. Yeah, beautiful. Let me uh, show you the blooms. This, these guys are just opening up. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that happens a lot with the Miltoniopsis. I try to always to keep an eye on it, but it was the other way around and I missed it. So therefore, yeah, I was a bit too late. I will cut this off later on, but I thought I'm just going to show it. And if you have the Miltoniopsis, you probably recognize this. And the Miltonia, yeah, like I said, they, they have that happened quite often, but... Uh, yeah, they are so beautiful. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. So those are the updates for now here inside of the orchid room. Well, almost just a beautiful Saigo spike on the way. <laughs> oh yeah, and this beautiful uh, Maxillaria. Masdevallia, I'm sorry. Beautiful yellow one. Sadly, the leaf behind is also yellow. <laughs> yeah beautiful bloom beautiful beautiful so let's get over to the greenhouse and before i do that i know i have quite some uh, reporting videos already uploaded and there are coming more for those who like that um yeah i have several on the way and then it's done but this is a beautiful uh, time of year to do the repot so i try to film as much as i can for those who like to uh, to see them but it's now, it's Sunday and we do now the updates and I'm going to do an update I thought I never would do. Well, first of all, he, I'm talking about the Ancelia Africanas, those two here. And yeah, it was f when I bought, it, bought those two, I was like, I hope I at least can get them to bloom. Uh, but that would be, uh, be, be, be quite a challenge, I think, because here in the Netherlands, especially in the winter, we do not have the bright light. And now we have, so therefore it does make, my camera does make the plants a little bit dark. I'm sorry for you guys. <laughs> but anyhow, um, so I was very impressed that both of them did start a spike. Um, those two. <laughs> this one still has one spike, but this one has more. And I had no idea they could do that, but this is an older cane. And look what that cane is doing. It's turning, pushing out spikes. So we have one spike obviously going there. We have one spike here and we have another one spike here. And you see it's pushing them upside down out, out of the cane, going out, uh, yeah, downwards. And then they try to find the light again. Very strange, but three spikes and on that cane and then they're all the way in the back you can see another spike that's just coming from the uh, apex as i was expected uh it's due but apparently it, it can can also uh, grow some spikes out of these canes i had no idea and then we have one here five spikes on an acelia africana here in the netherlands with our climate <laughs> so yeah it's beautiful 
absolutely beautiful, absolutely something to look forward to. And I keep my eye on it, but this on this, of course, because this one is already very close to the wall, so I hope it will, uh, will make it, but I think I need to uh, move it. And of course, this one, I'm going to follow this cane here, and then you see there as the spike of this one. This one here. So yeah, and they have a lot of roots. They seem to do very well here. Absolutely beautiful. And oh, I don't didn't give them a tag yet because I don't have the official name names for them. Maybe if they start to bloom, maybe we can figure them out together. <laughs> what the names uh, of these guys are, but these are at least are Ancelia Africana types, so not sure the, uh, for the c correct idea, but uh, yeah, a very special update, if you ask me. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Then over here, the changes here, maybe you can see it, but I did lower this shelf, and I lowered this shelf, and underneath here I had some epidendrums uh, standing, but those wouldn't fit anymore because those were these big girls over here. So I've moved them and that is the place where I had the shelving uh, standing that we just saw in, inside of the orchid room. So that was over here. So I did change that and I think this looks way nicer. I have my Tolumnius back on the wall, which I uh, love. And that's an, also an epidendrum type that's hanging and the rest is just standing here and I have them nicely together. They do okay, especially the ones, well that one and that one that I bought later on, they do better. Those, especially those there, the radican types, uh, are doing better. But I have them for years and they've been through a lot, so therefore hmm, they didn't uh, do so well. But this one is always blooming for me. So that's beautiful, of course. But anyhow, yeah, I made this, uh, this corner here, so I think that's, that's nicer. And I did want to lower this shelf because of these, especially this one, but these two are my largest vendas, and this one is growing like crazy. And it also did get a new face. Maybe you remember that because these cakes were inside the old face, and I just wanted to get them out and only have the roots in here, but I couldn't find the right a vase that would uh, fit for the root system but I did find it not that high and I can easily water it and now it, at least it's five keikis here that have now room as well and can enjoy the the fresh air and and grow bigger so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward how this will develop if these start to grow as well so then this is going to be a quite a huge venda. And this yellow one is doing the same. That one actually has one keiki. This is an older one. I think this is four years now, three or four years. It started a new one here, there in the back. So that's a keiki. And sadly, it had one here as well there. But I think I managed to get water in the crown. So that's did uh, rot off. But still, it has two, uh, two uh, keikis. And yeah, I do imagine sometimes if the cake is start to bloom with the model plants, yeah, that would be a beautiful display, of course, of bloom. So yeah, I'm very proud of these two, two babies. <laughs> yeah, absolutely beautiful. But they now have more room to grow a bit larger. So that is that. And then I have also an update because I did buy some new plants. I did buy myself some Spanish moss just because I like it. And I did buy this piece of wood. I already had the air plants, but uh, I did um, mount them on this, uh, this wood. This was actually an idea of my, uh, my niece and a very good friend. It's my niece and she's also a very good friend. <laughs> she came up with this, this idea and I said, I'm going to copy it because it looks beautiful. Just uh, some nice things to look at in between the orchids here. But new plants, yes, I did find this one. It's just not long here. It's an uh, bubble film cross that I saw uh, on Miss Arcade's channel. Beautiful little yellow blooms. And I did search for it quite some years. And finally, I did find it. Two new growths. 
So it's beautiful. Let me uh, grab the tag. You might want to know what, if I can get it out. Come on. This is the... Uh, I hope it does show up. Yeah, I think it does. For those who are interested in the name of this one. So let me put that back. It's just uh, getting adjusted a bit before I start to repot it. We have some beautiful Tolumnia blooms. To rebloom. <laughs> oh yes, and now we hear Arcad uh, the Venab, I mean from uh, Inse. Beautiful new roots. And it's making quite a lot of new roots. We have there and there. Maybe I can zoom in in the vase. Let's see. There are more new roots. So yeah, I think it's uh, settling uh, very nicely here in this uh, greenhouse. It's starting uh, to grow the leaves again. So yeah, not a flower spike yet, Inse, but it will, uh, will come, I think. And I did have another two plants, new plants. One is here. I finally did find my, I did one, I did repot already my hibiki i was should i buy it you would not buy it and uh, for years i came across it and i never bought it and now i thought yeah i'm going gonna take one <laughs> why not because they uh, are very beautiful so uh and this one had quite some new growths on the go so i hope it will uh, adjust quite easily to my uh greenhouse my uh how do we call it Climate, yes, there it was. And where's the other dendrobium? Ah, there it is. Just missed it. <laughs> Here in the back is another dendrobium that is budding. So therefore I'm going to let it here. And this is the, whoops. Dendrobium ambion, ambiences, ambiences. Whoop. So that is also new here. <laughs> I went uh, shopping, I think last week with uh, with my niece and also my best, uh, yeah, best friend, one of my best friends, <laughs> and we had quite some fun. So therefore, I didn't have a extra um, unboxing on this, but it was uh, very nice. Just a day out, and we also did buy. I'm sorry if I uh, if this doesn't make noise, but it's fairly warm. A conifer plant, this one, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, those two are doing well as well. Let's get over here. I'm not sure <laughs> if you heard the fan running. I do apologize if because I cannot hear it now while I'm filming. So I hope it will do well. And meanwhile, we have this beautiful Cattleya opening up her bloom. So yeah, that's very beautiful. Let me see. Golden Elf, oh, fragrance is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So you guys, oh yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, there was, I, I was like, there is something else I want to talk about. It's my uh, Wilbert Cheng. This Boba film of Wilbur Cheng. This is over here. I did look it up and it seems that it may get too much light. And therefore it doesn't bloom because it grows like crazy for me. Absolutely crazy. It's already starting a new growth there. But you can see the leaves are fairly light colored. And this one doesn't need, need that much light. I have a red so what i will do i will take it with me soon and i will put it i think i think inside the green uh, orchid room and underneath there it still is close to that light but it will not get direct daylight anymore and now it has both it has an artificial light Plus it will get quite some daylight, especially if the sun is shining. So I think it might do better there. And it's a bit cooler there. Who knows? I'm not sure, but I'm going to try it out because it should, 
it's obviously blooming size, so it should be blooming, but it doesn't bloom for me. <laughs> and of course, I like a little bit of a challenge, but uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to put it there. So that was for now, I think, uh, last update. Well, well, I just want to show it to you guys. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I think about two years ago we did a care collab. I th maybe one year, but I think it was two years ago. Not completely sure. It had only one bloom. It was fairly new to me back in the days. But look at this. You do get more blooms and they are so beautiful. So this is my uh, first maxillaria. I have now another one from INSA, the big one. So I hope that will, the one will do as well as this one. And also starts new growth and they come out very, very dark sometimes. So, but these will, uh, should be alive. They are uh, completely firm. So it's starting her new growth. And then this one needs a repot as well. It's, it's growing towards the, uh, we have an excellent new growth there as well, towards the pot. But I just wanted to let it bloom. I'm not sure I'm going to film this because I have so many repotting videos going on right now. But anyhow, if you really, really, really want to see this repot of this uh, maxillary, please let me know and I, I will film it. But yeah, I have so many repottings. I don't want to overdo it, of course. Anyhow, I'm always open for suggestions, of course. So yeah, I think now we are there. Now we have uh, done the update so far. Uh, this May is actually a little bit of update as well. We see more and more colors coming here because my fans are starting to open up their blooms. Stunning, 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 stunning. The yellow one is a fairly old one, but I didn't rebloom it. It may be one time because it did. My transition back in the days into self watering didn't go so well. And then I had that fail as well. But she's coming back and she has keikis. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we have this beauty here. And this one is starting to open up. This one has a name for a change. <laughs> beautiful. Heisen Beaming Sun. Absolutely beautiful. Anyhow, I will do a separate video on all the fails someday. But I, uh, of course, wait till uh, all these spikes here start to open up as well. Because we have quite a few that need a little bit more time. But that will a uh, one video and I will go over them uh, all. Just to give them their uh, stage. <laughs> because, yeah, they are beautiful. Ah, this one is just... Uh, this one was already uh, open yesterday. But I now catch this one. Look at this one. Beautiful. I, I love the combination of pink and yellow. Absolutely beautiful. But you can see it's just fairly, just, just starting to open up. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I like making these uh, little updates, but I always have the feeling that I forget something. Well, if I do, that's for another video. Thank you so much for all you guys there. And of course, for all the new subscribers, thank you so much. And if you like this video, you may want to give it a thumbs up as well. <laughs> and of course, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. And of course, don't forget if you have questions or you want to see something, suggestions for repottings, whatever, please let, them, let me know in the comment section below. I always open for uh, ideas. So uh, thank you in advance. Uh, in advance. Um, I was a little bit distracted because I saw another beautiful bloom open pink and yellow anyhow you guys i'm gonna stop filming now there are always updates of course thank you so much and i really hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye